Your face is your password. In a world where we unlock our lives with a glance, this technology feels almost magical, effortless, seamless, and uniquely yours. Apple promised it was unbreakable, boasting a one in a million chance of a random person unlocking your iPhone. The company's marketing painted Face ID as the gold standard of digital security, a lock only you could open. Yet, what if the threat isn't random? What if the person trying to get in knows you or has studied you closely? Hackers have found ways to bypass this digital fortress, exploiting weaknesses that most users never even consider. Their methods range from simple tricks to highly sophisticated attacks, proving that no system, no matter how advanced, is truly foolproof. We store our most private conversations, sensitive photos, and even financial details behind this facial lock, trusting it to keep our secrets safe. The idea that this security could be bypassed is unsettling, forcing us to question whether the convenience we crave comes at the cost of real protection. Techniques to fool Face ID are not just theoretical, they're practical, repeatable, and have been demonstrated in the real world. This exposes a fundamental vulnerability in using something as public as our face for security. Imagine a thief needing only a detailed picture of you or a look-alike collaborator to unlock your digital life. The barrier between your private world and the outside is thinner than you think. The illusion of perfect security crumbles when the tools to defeat it are accessible to more people than ever before, sometimes with just a printer and a little ingenuity. This isn't about panic, but about awareness. Understanding the risks is the first step toward making smarter choices. Knowing the vulnerabilities in your devices empowers you to take action. Whether it's using stronger passcodes, enabling two-factor authentication, or simply being more cautious. The story of Face ID is an ongoing battle, a high-stakes chess match between Apple's engineers and the clever minds constantly seeking a way in. The promise of biometric security was its simplicity and supposed invincibility, offering a future where you are the key. But what happens when your key can be copied, printed, or even reconstructed from a few photos online? We explore the shocking truth behind Face ID hacks, revealing just how creative and persistent attackers can be. We'll dive into the methods, the real-world implications, and most importantly, how you can fortify your digital defenses against these evolving threats. The digital walls aren't as high as you think. It's time to look beyond the surface and see the threats lurking on the other side, because in the world of cybersecurity, awareness is your first and best line of defense. Before we begin, a critical disclaimer. All the information presented here is strictly for educational purposes only. Our intention is to inform and educate, not to encourage any form of misuse. The primary goal is to illuminate potential security vulnerabilities so that users like you can better understand the risks that exist in our digital world. Gaining this knowledge empowers you to make smarter, more informed decisions about your own digital security and privacy, helping you protect your data and devices. Think of this as a tool for defense, a way to strengthen your digital life, not as a manual for attack or exploitation will demonstrate how certain technologies work, and importantly, how they can sometimes fail under specific circumstances, so you can recognize both their strengths and their limitations. Please do not attempt to replicate any of these methods to access devices or accounts that do not belong to you. Unauthorized access is illegal in most countries and can lead to severe legal consequences, including criminal charges and fines. This article does not condone, support, or encourage any form of illegal hacking activities or unethical behavior. The security community thrives on responsible disclosure, sharing information about vulnerabilities in a way that helps everyone stay safer. Security researchers report flaws to vendors like Apple, giving them the opportunity to fix issues before they can be exploited by malicious actors. Our discussion reflects this responsible process, examining only publicly demonstrated proofs of concept and widely known vulnerabilities. The intent here is to foster a security-conscious mindset encouraging you to think critically about your own digital safety, not to provide a blueprint for crime or unethical actions. Always respect the law and the privacy of others. Use this information responsibly, ethically, and for the greater good. Now with that understanding firmly in place, let's move forward together and explore the world of digital security. To understand how Face ID can be tricked, it's important to first understand the technology behind it and why it's considered so secure. You need to know how it works, and what makes it different from older security methods like passcodes or fingerprint sensors. Apple's True Depth camera system projects over 30,000 invisible infrared dots onto your face, creating a unique pattern that's nearly impossible to replicate with a simple photo or video. 
This process builds a highly detailed 3D map of your facial geometry, which is then encrypted and stored securely in a special chip on your device, called the Secure Enclave. When you try to unlock your phone, the camera projects those dots again, instantly creating a new facial map and comparing it to the one stored on your device. If the two maps match closely enough, the device unlocks in a fraction of a second, making the process both fast and seamless for the user. Face ID also requires your eyes to be open and looking directly at the device, which helps prevent someone from unlocking your phone while you're asleep or not paying attention. The system is designed to adapt to gradual changes in your appearance, so it can still recognize you if you grow a beard, wear glasses, or even put on a hat. For a hacker, the main goal is to create a convincing 3D object, like a mask or a model, that can trick the sensor into thinking it's scanning the real user's face. The system looks for very specific data points and depth information. If someone can accurately replicate that model, they might be able to gain access. This complex combination of hardware and software defines the parameters for defeating Face ID, making it a challenging target for attackers. The real challenge isn't breaking the encryption or hacking the software, but rather tricking the sophisticated camera system with a lifelike 3D model. If an attacker manages to perfectly replicate your facial features and depth, they could potentially fool the sensor and gain unauthorized access to your device, highlighting both the strengths and potential vulnerabilities of Face ID. Apple's one in a million statistic has a significant asterisk. The odds change when the person trying to unlock your phone is a close relative. Documented cases show family members, especially siblings or twins, unlocking each other's iPhones. This isn't a hack, but a failure to distinguish between similar faces. Identical twins pose a pronounced problem, their facial structures can be too similar. Videos show twins unlocking each other's devices, highlighting a limitation of facial recognition. The issue extends to other family members, with reports of children unlocking parents' phones. This biological loophole forces us to reconsider biometric security. A password is unique to you, but your face shares characteristics with family. For those with look-alike relatives, it's a genuine security concern. It means someone else has a key to your digital life, with little you can do but disable Face ID. One disturbing method to bypass Face ID requires no advanced tech. It involves accessing the victim while they are unconscious or asleep. Apple's Require Attention feature is designed to prevent this but isn't foolproof. If disabled, anyone can unlock the phone by pointing it at the owner's face. Even with it enabled, attackers can lift the victim's eyelid to unlock the phone. This low-tech method preys on physical vulnerability, bypassing sophisticated technology. It's relevant in domestic disputes or theft by someone known to the victim. The implications are personal and frightening, allowing access to private data. Physical access is a powerful tool for attackers, bypassing digital security. The attention feature is a clever solution but can be defeated by simple actions. Keep require attention enabled. The security trade-off is immense. High-tech attacks involve advanced masks and 3D printed models. Early attempts with photos or basic masks failed, the system detected flat objects. Researchers then created detailed 3D replicas of a person's head. In 2017, a Vietnamese firm bypassed Face ID with a complex mask. The mask used a 3D printed frame, silicone nose, and 2D images for eyes and mouth. This attack vector has grown with advancements in 3D printing and scanning. Detailed 3D scans can be used to print realistic models. While requiring effort and expertise, it's no longer science fiction. For high-value targets, attackers might find the effort worthwhile. The evolution of this threat shows the arms race in cybersecurity. Even a 3D model of your face can become a key to sensitive information. Sophisticated face ID bypasses remain with researchers, but simpler methods are real. Thieves observe victims entering passcodes in public, then steal the phone. With the passcode, face ID becomes irrelevant. They can reset it with their face. This highlights a critical weakness. If the passcode is compromised, face ID is bypassed. Thieves can change Apple ID passwords, disable Find My iPhone, and lock owners out. Coercion is another tactic. Criminals force victims to unlock phones with their face. This terrifying reality shows a phone is a portal to finances. Face ID's speed and convenience become liabilities and crises. Real-world examples show threats often exploit human behavior, not just technology. Understanding these tactics is crucial for developing effective defensive habits. Apple continuously improves Face ID's robustness against threats. 
Each iPhone generation and iOS update enhances facial recognition security. Apple develops countermeasures as attackers develop new techniques. After mask bypasses, Apple improved AI and machine learning models. The system now better distinguishes between real faces and replicas. Attention awareness is refined to detect genuine user intent. Apple encourages vulnerability reporting through its bug bounty program. Face ID is not static. Newer versions are more secure. Users must keep devices updated to protect against vulnerabilities. Installing updates promptly ensures the latest protections. The arms race is relentless. Staying current is your best strategy. While Face ID threats are real, you can enhance your device's security. Use a strong passcode, not a simple PIN. Choose a custom alphanumeric code. A strong passcode is your ultimate fallback. Keep require attention for Face ID enabled. It's your primary defense. Be mindful of surroundings. Avoid unlocking with a passcode in public. Keep your iPhone software up to date. Enable automatic updates. Updates contain critical security patches for new threats. Be cautious about who has physical access to your device. Sophisticated digital security can be defeated with physical access. Face ID is advanced but not infallible. Human behavior is often exploited. Pair Apple's technology with smart security practices. Use a strong passcode, keep attention awareness on, and update software. Stay vigilant, informed, and one step ahead. For more on digital security, subscribe.